Alrighty guys, welcome back to another LEGO set review from Brick by Brick, and today we have set number 75117, Kylo Ren. Contains 86 pieces, um, retails for $25, I think, and um, one instruction booklet was released in 2016. And, you know, this is one of the Star Wars buildable figures, so obviously I didn't buy it unless it was on clearance. This cost me $15, which is a little bit steep but you know it's gonna disappear completely soon and you know I wanted to get Kylo Ren because the helmet actually and the figure doesn't look too shabby at first glance uh, so you know it would make a decent thing on display the lightsaber I think is one of the more visually interesting aspects here because it's the only thing that's not black and one of the things that kind of bugs me a little bit about the buildable figures that I've been getting is they're all black besides the stormtrooper uh, the Scarif Stormtrooper, um, which just makes them a little bit hard to make visually interesting on a shelf. So the fact that so many of them are the same color is a little bit eh, but obviously you don't have to get all of them. Uh, but I think that this red lightsaber will make it stand out a little bit amongst my little collection. And that's just, you know, a simple build. Uh, obviously inside the hand it's just Technic Axles, so you can't just remove the lightsaber completely, really. Uh, you need, like, another one of these pieces. But, you know, I mean, that's not too big a deal because most of the time you're going to want to keep it in his hand anyway. Uh, obviously he has the same articulation as most of these with the arms especially. It's got the same amount of joints. Uh, the legs, you know, same amount of joints as well. Uh, there is a cloth piece here but that really doesn't hinder the uh, motion at all. You can still um, accidentally break it. That was just the uh, friction adder. It's too frictiony <laughs> for me. Uh, but yeah, you can move the legs. The legs are a little bit tough to uh, deal with just because you have to, um, you know, make sure you get both feet flat on the ground. Uh, obviously, you know, it works well for play, um, just for display. You're going to want to kind of keep the feet on the ground uh, for the most part. But you can't really see the legs for, uh, you know, most of it, but because uh, most of it's covered by capes. From the side it doesn't look great because you see a lot of that gray. I kind of wish they would have kept that to black but again you can kind of hide it uh, relatively easily and from the front you know it's covered by the capes from the back it's covered by the capes so it's really just that kind of side angle. Speaking of the cape on the back it's attached in two places uh, underneath the helmet uh, between that and the ball joint and then there's this thing which sticks through it but it's a pretty big cape. It's a soft material. Um, it's definitely cloth-y, not the slightest bit papery. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll wrinkle. There is a seam there from where it was folded inside the box, but it is relatively big and relatively, you know, feels kind of like a higher-end material. So I think it's good, and it folds pretty well, you know, like it rests naturally like a cape would. And this knob at the back activates a chopping mechanism, which... Many of the uh, the like lightsaber wielding characters have something like this, so you know you can just turn that and go like that and cut things down. And I think that that works cool. Um, it's kind of it would have been nice if you know there was some way to make it so you could actually like get it with like a really nice swing, but you kind of have to move the hand at the same time, so it would be easier to just because you can move it separately. Uh, the arm you can move it separately, but there's because there's enough friction in there to keep it in place, but you know at the same time you can turn it. So I, I think that that's a good feature, and I like uh, you know the buildable figures that have that. I think it does detract a little bit from the appearance, but it does so much for the playability here. And the torso design is, you know, pretty decent. It's got some nice fine printing and, you know, it continues all the way up there. And you can see just a little bit of the robes that are printed to look more like robes. It is on an armory piece, but I think that it works well enough. And that helmet is a very, very well molded piece. And it's got some good printed detail. Yeah, I, I have no complaints about this. It even has a little dent which is molded in there. Yeah, that, that is a cool helmet design. Overall, I think that Kylo Ren buildable figure, you know, it looks pretty good. Uh, it's one of the older ones, and as a result, you know, there are several 
sections, especially the legs that look a little bit more bare than most. And I guess the torso kind of looks bare, because uh, all they do is cover this back section up. But you know, you, that all gets covered by the cloth. So I think that because this used the cloth um, cape and had that design, it is better than most of the 2016 like first wave buildable figures, which most of those you know weren't great looking from the back. Um, so because this has that, it's not as bad as it could be, but still I think that the quality of the more recent buildable figures is just a little bit better than this one. I still don't think that this is a bad figure, and I would recommend picking it up on clearance, but as with all the buildable figures, I don't know if I see all the value at full price. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everyone.